Good day guys, it's Peter and on behind the camera together we are two hungry diners Well guys, welcome to our new YouTube video and we are exploring the region of Yara Valley Well, the region of Yara Valley is very well known for their food and wine tasting and we are going to explore the local food producers and also local winemaker here in the region of Yara Valley and if you haven't already guys, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because it will help our channel to grow. But for now, let's go, let's explore Yara Valley. Beachwood Bakery. Open in 2006, Beachwood Bakery Hillsfields is located in the heart of Hillsfields and offers generous indoor and outdoor seating. The bakery is known for its authentic baked delights freshly brewed coffees and tasty treats. Treat yourself with the goodness of the freshly made pies and rolls, focaccia and sandwiches, or sink your teeth into one of the signature bee stings, a mouth-in-your-mouth bun filled with the velvety crust and topped with toffee almonds. Oh my god! That custard is heavenly! Wow! I can see why people are loving this one. Must try guys, must try. Four Pillar Distillery Four Pillars Distillery is a small Australia craft gin distillery that is based in the heart of Yarra Valley. And it is now considered the number one craft spirit in Australia. The distillery door is open 7 days a week where guests can enjoy a multitude of gin drinks including gin and tonic paddles, bill your own negronis and scotty ginger mules as well as local beer and wine, great coffee, olives, nuts and cheese plates. We did a paddle of mini GNTs where we sampled the 4 pillar gins over ice and with tonic water. And we reckon this is the best way to get an introduction of their amazing gins. Nice, really, really nice. <laughs> Always good with the tonic water, gin and tonic. On top of that, we also grabbed the moonshine cheese plate, where we sample a local stone and crow cheese made using water left over from the distillation process. The experience here is simply amazing. The staff are very friendly, very accommodating, and highly knowledgeable. A must visit in Yarra Valley. Innocent Bystander Located in Hillsfields, Innocent Bystander isn't actually situated on a vineyard, but in a really cool space of the old White Rabbit Brewery site. Innocent Bystander is one of our favorite wine cellar ever. Here, wines are more accessible and on the cheaper side and catered to more casual drinkers. And their pink Moscato is simply outstanding. Alright guys, this is the 2018 Mia Kalpa Sira red wine. This is like award-winning red wine. Oh, I love the smell of white peppercorn from this wine. And a little bit of raspberry jam as well in there. Mm, let's try it. Wow, really, really nice guys. Even though it is like a full-bodied wine, it's not super heavy, it's quite light and I really enjoy it and only I have tried as well and she enjoyed it as well. Alright, this is the most popular item from Innocent Bystander, the Moscato. Must try it, really nice every time, it's really good. Oh. <laughs> so good, man! It's only 5.5% of alcohol, so you can pretty much drink it all day, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> super sweet, which we love. We both love super sweet wine. Very refreshing in the hot weather as well.
Hillsville City Center. Located in Melbourne's scenic Yarra Valley, Hillsville is a pretty town surrounded by mountains, forests, and rolling hills dotted with wineries, fruit, and berry farms. Hillsville is also a home to hipster cafes and restaurants, artisanal producers, art galleries, and a range of upmarket stores. Hillsville is filled with incredible things to do and wonderful places to eat and drink making it a very popular getaway destination from Melbourne and one town not to miss in Victoria. Marunda Reservoir Just northeast of Hillsville Township, the Marunda Reservoir offers colorful gardens, barbecue and picnic areas, and the path along the elevated dam walls provide panoramic views of the surrounding mountains. And if you are looking to take a break from food and drink activities in Yarra Valley, this is the perfect place to visit. The impressive 41 meters high dam walls over a scenic lookout offer former gardens, forested slopes, and the broad, peaceful reservoir lake. Construction on this grand piece of engineering took place from 1920 to 1927, and the Marunda catchment is still an important source of Melbourne's water today. Yarra Valley Dairy The Yarra Valley is known as one of Australia's premium dairy regions, with quality, rich milk used to produce an exceptional range of cheeses. Yarra Valley Dairy cheeses are made using Fresh's cow's milk provided by the neighboring dairy farms. While the goat milk is delivered regularly from the Mansfield regions, only a couple of hours away where the natural environment and pastures are more suited to farming goats. Thousands of visitors arrive each year to take in the stunning view of Yarra Valley and taste the suburb Astizan cheeses, a must-do in Yarra Valley. After tasting and almost finishing our cheese, I think we both love the Persian feta here. Oh, it's salty, it's crumbly, uh, it's like a curd, but with some liquid uh, underneath. Oh, super, super delicious. You guys have to try the feta, the Persian feta here. Yarra Valley Chocolatery. Set up in 2012, this family-run chocolatery is a heaven for sweet toots. The show features a ridiculous array of quality chocolate products that comes in different flavors and shapes. There is also an all-day cafe serving breakfast, lunch, and specializing in decadent sweet treats. We tried their prawn salad, which was surprisingly decent and very refreshing. And if chocolates are not your jam, Sit down and enjoy a delicious selection of house-made ice cream. The weather is extremely hot today and you see all the ice cream is melting right now. We choose two flavors out of 24 flavors available, the peach and mango and the chalk espresso shot. I better get stuck into it. Mm. That's definitely the peach and mango. Wow. Mm. It's milky, smooth. Liking it guys. The espresso shot, you can definitely taste the coffee in there and love the additions of the chalk chip inside of the ice cream. Mm. Yering Station Yering Station is Victoria's first and the oldest vineyard nestled in the picturesque Yarra Valley. The venue is not only popular as a winery but also renowned historic accommodations and a restaurant. Built in 1838, this historic winery estate was the first wine producing cellar door in the entire state of Victoria. The winery still maintains its fame and stands atop the list of the best wine producing cellar doors in the Yarra Valley. We did the wine tasting here on New Year's Day and it was superb. The staff are lovely and they are super helpful, super friendly and we ended up buying the dessert wine which is I 
which I really like. Uh, 2019 cane card Fournier, <laughs> $35. Um, yeah, so I recommend you guys to come and have a wine tasting here. Shandon. Established in 1986, Shandon Australia is a premium wine brand with winery operation based in the Yarra Valley, Victoria. The estate is stunning and the vineyard is gorgeous. The views alone are worth a visit and we could easily spend all afternoon here. Shandon is considered to be a sparkling wine pioneer here in Australia. We highly recommend the wine tasting here and also try the share board. These meticulously crafted tasting experiences are perfect for those looking to try and compare Shandon's sparkling wines and it is the easiest way to get to know the brand a little better. We can't look away at how gorgeous the vineyard is. A truly stunning place to enjoy beautiful wines and cheeses. There are plenty of accommodation options here in the heart of Yarra Valley and one we can recommend is Yarra Valley Lodge. Less than an hour drive from Melbourne City, nestled gently within the grounds of the exclusive Heritage Golf and Country Club, Yarra Valley Lodge is a world-class hotel and accommodation. We booked the family room and we were pretty stoked with the room. It was very clean with good enough amenities for the two of us. Some part of the rooms are a bit outdated and may need a little bit of help to modernize it a little bit. Here, you'll experience a very close encounter with wild kangaroos. You'll be seeing them jumping around the golf course and there are plenty of them, but be careful not to distract them. We were so fortunate that the weather was super clear and we were able to watch the best sunset to close off 2021. We also tried their dine-in options in the hotel pub and the food was decent. We highly recommend these accommodations to relax and immerse yourself in nature, especially for families with kids. Yara Farm Fresh, a quick drive from Yara Valley Lodge as well as conveniently located for Valley residents, Yara Farm Fresh is the best place where you find the blessed locally grown Yara Valley produce under one roof. This is a friendly, buzzing place where you'll always find good quality, regional and seasonal produce with a price that reflects each season bounty and support for their local suppliers. Located in the southern part of the Yarra Valley, Combi Estate is a chic winery and restaurant with garden backdrops in the former home of opera singer Dame Nelly Melba. Combi Yarra Valley is iconic in its own right. It provides a stunning location for wine tasting, weddings, private events, or simply dining in the exceptional a la carte restaurant called Melba Estate, named after Dame Nelly herself. There is also an art gallery inside the estate that provides an opportunity for visitors to experience the lifestyle of Australia's first diva. The collection includes works by artists Hans Hazen, Margaret Preston, Arthur Streeton, and many others. The Serral Door, Restaurant, Profador, and Gardens are all fashioned in a way that makes any visit here all the more memorable. Coldstream Brewery Located at the gateway to the picturesque Yarra Valley, Coldstream Brewery is the place to get the amazing handcrafted beers and ciders in the region. The brewery is also open for lunch and dinner and offers a traditional pub menu and fabulous pizza. We started our experience here by doing the very popular tasting panels of beers and ciders. Oh, it has some coffee flavor. Mm, nice. Nice. Like this too. The cider is very nice. These two not very not very sure. <laughs> but yeah, this this four of this is really nice. We then continue trying out their lunch menu. For myself, I tried a classic chicken parma, which is voted as the best parma in Yarra Valley. 
and Oni was enjoying her crispy skin baramandi with Thai green curry sauce. Whether you are here to enjoy the handcrafted beers and ciders or the classic pub food, Koh Sim Brewery is the perfect start or end to your journey through the Yarra Valley region. Waratina Lavender Farm Nestled on a picturesque landscape at the foothills of the Dandenong Ranges, the Waratina Lavender Farm is a family-owned and operated lavender farm that is truly worth a visit. Here you enjoy the tranquil surrounding and breathe in the fragrances of lavender. You also find all lavender products being sold here, from the beauty products to household products, diffuser oils, dry lavenders, and you can even buy a plant from their nursery and try growing it yourself. The owner Anne-Marie is a very passionate lavender farmer and she is on site daily to answer any questions you might have about lavender. She also runs a short talk about growing and turning lavender into various different products. For $12.50, you get an entry ticket for the uh, lavender talk with the owner herself and Marie and also access to the lavender garden also free ice cream I mean it's not free it's included in the ticket mm. Do you taste the lavender? Yeah, yeah probably would love it a little less sweeter but I don't mind it it's included in the, uh, in the ticket anyway Alright guys, that's the end of our video exploring food and wine in the Yara Valley region. I hope you guys enjoy this video and find this video useful for your next visit in the Yara Valley. See you guys in the next episode. As always, stay foolish, stay hungry. Bye!